To stay updated, subscribe to TJA Academy. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, we are going to discuss the steps taken according to Bog Schenken methodology. Uh, we have concluded in our previous lecture that if the variable is stationary, then Arma process will be used, and if the variable is stationary or will be stationary after taking some differences, then Arima process will be used. Now, the steps first step is identification uh, of uh, P, Q, if uh, we are going to use the Arma process, and P, D, and Q if the process, if Arima process will be used. The value of P order of autoregressive term. The value of P is determined by the some criterion such as partial autocorrelation function. Where PSEF, partial autocorrelation function, it gives the correlation between the dependent variable and its lag values while keeping the effect of shorter lags constant. The first correlation value of for y and yt minus 1, the second one is yt and yt minus 2 and yt and yt minus 3 and so forth. The correlation between yt and minus 2 does not include the effect of yt and my yt minus 1. I repeat the correlation between yt and minus yt minus 2 does not include the effect of the correlation of yt and yt minus 1. That is why it is known as partial autocorrelation function. We determine the optimal number of lagged error term means order of Q to include in a moving average model by its autocorrelation function. Autocorrelation function is different from PSCF used with autoregressive model as discussed above. Here ACF it gives correlation coefficient between the dependent variable and the same variable with different lag but the effect of shorter lag is not kept constant this means that the effect of shorter lag is included in the numbers given with the autocorrelation function the correlation between yt and yt minus 2 includes includes the effect of correlation between yt and yt minus 1. This is the opposite of the PSCF used earlier where the effect of shorter legs is not included. In first step basically we are going to find the order of PQ or PD and Q. So uh, let us come on our work file. Here uh, we have discussed in our previous video that the CPI are variable is non-stationary at level and stationary at first difference i repeat it view unit to test level intercept this shows the variable is non-stationary as we have discussed in our previous unit root lecture now for robustness level in trend intercept this value also shows the value uh, the series is non-stationary at level but after taking first difference here this value shows the vari variable is stationary at first difference and in trend intercept this value also shows the variable is stationary at first difference. Now first step is to identify the word uh, here, here we will use ARIMA process. because series is not stationary at level and stationary at first difference. So, our even process will be used with the help now. Now we are going to find 
P, D, and Q with the help of P, A, C, F difference taken to make stationary and ACF respectively. So uh, we have found that we have taken first difference to make the variable stationary. So here T is equal to 1. For P and Q, we have to uh, basically draw the correlogram of that particular series. So, how can we uh, draw this? Open that particular series, go to view and click on correlogram. We are going to basically draw the correlogram on first difference because the series is stationary at first difference. Then press OK. So, this is the autocorrelation, this is the partial autocorrelation. So, this dotted line shows the significant range. If the bar cross the this dotted line, it means a correlation or partial correlation is significant. So, here with the help of partial autocorrelation function, we can find the pth order and with the help of autocorrelation function we can find the q order here we can see the first bar in partial autocorrelation function and the first or one bar in autocorrelation function cross the level of significance so here we can conclude that P is equal to 1 and Q is equal to 1 because only one bar has crossed in both partial autocorrelation and autocorrelation. So, we can conclude that here the P is equal to 1 and Q is equal to 1. This is the first step here we have find the value of P, D and Q. Now, the second step is the model estimation. After finding P with the help of PACF, D with the help of unit root test and Q with the help of ACF, here AR1, D1 and MA1 have been found. Keep this thing in mind that we have to run all possible models of AR1 and MA1 for, for, for forecasting like 1 1 1 means AR1, D1, MA1. 1 1 0 means AR1, D1, MA0, all possibilities. And the last one is AR0, D1, and MA1. We have to run all these models and to find the most appropriate model. We have to run all these models. So, we are going to run all these models. Now, quick estimate equation like DCPI. Why we have taken DCPI? Because CPI is stationary at first difference. Then, first model is 1 uh, Now, we have to run AR Arima one 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 Arima one one zero and Arima zero one one first we have to run this model arima 111 in which the difference variable is a dependent variable and we have taken first one order of auto regressive and one order of moving average model 
so quick estimate equation d cpi why we have taking d because cpi is a stationary at first difference then c then a r 1 m a 1 this is our first model this one arima 1 1 1 so this is the output let us freeze its output because we have to run all models so then uh, basically we should save all these information now after this we have to run only ar1 model like this one this is the output of ar1 model this is the output of ar1 and now we have to run the ma all possible models so this is the output of ma1 so these are the three possible models that we have run to find the most appropriate model now how can we find the which model is most appropriate this is the basically step 2 for appropriate model we have to see five things significant coefficient sigma q value this is which which shows the volatility it should be minimum adjusted r square should be maximum aic akaik information criteria and shavas information criteria should be minimum so in this model all information have been given this is the sigma this is the adjusted r square and, uh, and these are the significance of the variable this is a kike information criteria shavas criteria in all models all information have given so uh, we have summarized the all information here here this is the different cpi this is a variable means dependent variable and these are these three models that uh, we have run in arima 1 1 we can see that nothing is significant no variable is significant here so this is you can see the ar and ma both are insignificant so no variable is significant on the other side arima 1 1 0 and arima 0 1 1 both are significant now the sigma's value is 0 0.635 0 0.669 and other we can see here point this one this one and this one and these are the sigma's value and we can find it this is the minimum value in first model arima 111.636 this one 6365 and this is 0.636 so this is the minimum value and when we summarize all these value we can find that arima 011 model is the most appropriate model because the variable is significant here adjusted r square is maximum here akai and shavas criteria are minimum here so arima 011 or ma1 model is appropriate for our forecasting so here we can find this is our most appropriate model and now this step 3 in step 3 error term diagnosis text in step 3 we can find the error term should be stationary error term should be stationary we can check it through conventional unit root test or q statistics if error is not stationary at level not stationary at level then we have to repeat all of our steps if it is not the case then go for forecasting if it's not the case means if the error is stationary at level then go for forecasting so to find the stationarity of error term uh, there are two uh, things first uh, go to process make residual series this is basically you are going to save the error series and you can write here its name error okay so this is the error series and it should be stationary for 
uh, appropriate model this is the diagnostic text test so go to view unit to test to find the stationary at level so at level intercept this shows the variable is stationary at level may variable means error and again here yeah, this value also shows the error is stationary at level so basically the diagnostic text uh, test are correct and we can go for forecasting this is the appropriate model and we can use it for forecasting this is the step 4 for forecasting go to forecast uh, you can write any cpi let's suppose underscore f so this is not the forecast sample we have taken the data of uh, from 1971 to 2019 then we have to forecast from 2020 to 2028 right and uh, press okay so this is the forecasted series and uh, here you can open the both series at a time so this is the forecasted value and uh, you can draw the graph also so basically the same line shows uh, the overlapping values and this is the forecasted values after 2019 so these are the steps uh, of uh, box Jenkin methodology and arma and arima model uh, if this video helps you to understand the box Jenkin methodology so please like and share the video and subscribe my channel tj academy